Hey, what's up guys? It's Flex and welcome back. In my last Audi video, I installed a turbo muffler delete and a blow off valve and the car sounds great. But in today's video, I wanna do another mod to the engine of my 2015 Audi A4 S line. Today, I'm gonna to be installing an intake. And not just any intake, this intake is gonna give more sound and performance. And it's from IE, Integrated Engineering. And I wanna thank IE for sponsoring this video and providing me with the product. And if you're not familiar with IE, I actually installed a stage one tune from them on my Audi A4 a couple months back. They're well known for performance parts for Audi and VW. And if you're interested in this intake or any performance parts for your Audi, definitely check out the link in the description below. So yeah, I'm really super excited to install this on the car. I really don't know what to expect, but let's get to it. So here is the air intake kit. Comes in a really nice box. Right here is the main heat shield. Here is the secondary heat shield, really nice quality. Right here is a silicone coupler. And I think there's another one right here. Here's another coupler. And in this box right here, we have the performance air filter. And then lastly, we just have a bunch of accessories and hardware. So now that I walked you through the contents of the packaging, now let's go ahead and get this installed on the car. So the first step is to remove the stock air duct. I first need to remove these trim screws here. I'm just going to slightly push down and pop them off. Next, I'm gonna grab my Torx screwdriver and remove a screw here. And a screw here. And then once those screws are removed, I can pull up on the air duct and it should come right off. Next, I'm gonna remove the Torx screw holding the air box to the car. And then I'm going to take a socket wrench and loosen these two clamps here. Now I'm going to disconnect the connector from the MAF sensor. And now I could pull off this hose right here. and I can lift up on the entire air box. So with the air box removed, next I'm gonna remove the MAF sensor housing. It's held on by two screws. And once the screws are removed, I had to pry it off. And once it's free from the air box, I can go ahead and set it aside. So the other two items I need to remove are these two grommets right here, and they pull right off. Now I can go ahead and set aside the stock air box. Here is the brand new heat shield. I'm gonna have to reinstall these grommets on the bottom with a hole here and here. Using the included hardware, I'm gonna take this metal tube here insert a bolt through it, and then I'm gonna line it on the hole in the heat shield and tighten it down with a nut. And then I'm just gonna take the grommet and push it right on. Now I just have to repeat the same process for the other hole.
Next, I'm going to grab the air filter and I'm going to install it here. I'm just going to push it down. And then tighten down the clamp. So for the other side, I'm going to take the large coupler and a large clamp and I'm going to push it right on. And for the clamp, I'm going to tighten it down, but I'm not going to tighten it all the way down. Now I'm going to install another clamp and I'm going to take the MAF sensor housing. There should be an arrow right here that points towards the engine. So for the other side, I'm going to push it onto the coupler. And again, I'm going to tighten the clamp, but I'm not going to tighten it all the way down. Now I can take the other coupler with a small clamp and mount it right here. And I'm going to slide the last clamp right over the coupler. And I'm going to grab the intake kit with these grommets and push it down onto the car. Now I can go ahead and tighten down all the clamps. So here's the secondary heat shield. These two holes will mount to the other heat shield. And this hole right here will mount to this bracket right here. It just goes right here. So for this hole, there's a rubber grommet. There's a plastic ring and the screw will go through from the back to an existing hole on the car. So I'm going to first install the rubber grommet onto the hole. Push on the plastic ring. And now it's ready to go on the car. So here's the bracket. Here's the screw. And the hole is actually right here. And now that the bracket is installed, I can install the secondary heat shield with the included screws. Next, I'm going to grab the rubber weather stripping and I'm going to line this top section here. It'll create a nice seal when the hood is down. Next, I'm going to grab the extended cable. I'm going to plug one end to the MAF sensor and the other end to the stock connector. So there's actually a lot of slack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie wrap this part of the wire to this hole right here. And lastly, I'm just going to reinstall the stock air duct, the two torque screws, and the two plastic trim screws. Now that everything's installed, I can go ahead and test drive the car. So the install is done. I'm in my car. It's started. 
Now I want you guys to hear what I hear while sitting inside the car. This time I'm gonna have the windows up. Ready? The turbo sound is definitely a lot louder and now I actually hear sucking noise from the intake. Let me lower the windows. Let's do it again. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, so I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Just driving everywhere, hearing that intake suck in all that air every time I hit on the gas pedal, it feels pretty good. Again, if you're interested in any performance parts for your Audi or VW, go check out IE Integrated Engineering, link in the description below. So in my next video, I'm definitely keeping with the theme of performance parts. You gotta stay tuned and check it out because it's gonna make a lot more power. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, hit like below. As always, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you next time.